back to another edition of Shorts right here at the Ranton Chair. Uh, gonna smoke me a lucky strike after I run the town and get some money. And contemplate the world's problems one bit to a time. I had a rough night. Uh, muscle cramps, sweats, you know, just general fucking pain. And uh, as I often do when I can't sleep very well, I turn on old videos and stuff like that. And something that I found yesterday that was kind of interesting is some World War II training films, right? I think I dropped one on my community page last night that I was watching. And uh, you notice the language that people used back then. You know, it was more... How shall I say this? Um, to the point. Um, you know, clever, witty, but, you know, no, no padding added. And, you know, it's funny how we went from a generation of the greatest generation, right? You know, the ones that survived the Depression and ended up fighting in one or two world wars, depending on how old they were, and uh, surviving into the nuclear age. You know, how, how they thought and how, how they learned things. Because... If you dropped somebody that's my age in the jungle that didn't know what their ass from a hole in the ground was, they wouldn't last very long in the green hell, right? Whereas, you know, somebody who grew up going camping and hunting and fishing and hiking and shooting and riding horses and things like that, you know, they'd probably fare quite a bit better. You know, is. 90% of the gear you need to survive is the same in any climate. It really comes down to just a few add-ons and extras, right? You know, imagine bailing out of a, a B-27 or a B-17, whatever it was, and, uh, you know, jumping out of there with a small pack on that had just a few toys in it, like a pocket knife and a whistle and a flashlight and your 45 and some Benzedrine and a couple of pieces of candy. How well would you do, right? Would you figure out how to light something on fire? Stay dry, stay warm, keep your feet from falling off? You know, not wipe your ass with poison ivy? Or not get bit by a snack or a spider? Hmm? Would you figure out the local indigenous foods and how to eat it? You know, with little to no effort without actually getting sick. Because the vast majority of people, they make such a big deal about, I need all of this expensive gear and things and stuff. And, and in all reality, it's been done in history, you know. People with the clothes on their back, pocket knife, and little else, you know, figured out how to not only survive in that shit, but to escape and get rescued without being captured by the enemy. You know. It's just, it, it, it amazes me that we went from, you know, that kind of a society and mindset to now having to check a girl in a skirt to see if she's got a dinky or not before you take her out on a date, right? That's, that's why I've said countless times, you know, the Crocodile Dundee uh, handshake's going to make a comeback. You watch, you know. And I'm not judging, man. If y'all y'all are into boys and dresses, that's your business, your prerogative. I don't really give a flying fuck. You know, after a few cocktails, it might even be fun. I, I don't know. I, I just, I, my general rule is I don't stick things in my butthole. It's just not how I do things. You know, it's funny, too, because uh, back in the days long before Don't Ask, Don't Tell, uh, San Francisco was where they dumped all the uh, people that were undesirables out of the Navy that were alleged homosexuals and you know, they discharged them and sent them all loose with their paycheck and everything else, and they realized they liked it quite well there in the state. So, you know, like, we've gone from the age of, you know, know your enemy and stranger danger and things like that to, oh, it's fine, kids, just get in the back of the van. You know, we're going to take you to Uncle Biden's house and feed you some ice cream. He plays his hairy legs. You know? It's a sick goddamn world we live in. And, uh... 
you know, long day, longer the day is gone where, you know, you jumped out of a plane with a fucking revolver in your shoulder holster and took some Benzedrine when you hit the deck and fucking lit yourself a cigarette and got your problem sorted out, you know. Them things only exist in history anymore. Much like a lot of us, you know, we're, we're a lot of us are just dinosaurs, you know, we're just waiting to go extinct. But there's there's a lot of us out there. There's there's millions of more broken people like me that have no place in this not so brave new world. And uh, as always, I'm gonna get my shit together and go figure out life and stuff. And uh, I go to the pawn shop. So as always, if you don't like what I have to say about life or things or why lucky strikes matter or why the soft and the weak will not last very long. You can eat my fucking shorts. And I'll leave you with the immortal words of crime pays and botany doesn't. Have a wonderful day. Go fuck yourself and bye.